Let's talk about statics. It's another popular flower that we use it as a filler or line flower. I've got my pink statics here. But statics actually has a variety of colors. Purple, yellow, white, peach, or lavender color. They are all very beautiful. And my pink here, I got this from a wholesaler, so they usually pack 10 stamps as a bunch. And whenever you receive the flowers, always try to give them a new cut at the bottom. An inch is enough so they can absorb the water better. So just give them an angle cut, would be good. So let's see how many stems do I have. Six, eight, ten. Yes, it's ten here. I usually make the count so I can better plan out my design to see how many stems I can go into each arrangement. And there are some works to do. In order to prep the statics, like here, one stem at a time, one stem can also have a few branches up there, a few arches. And there is some foliage attached at the bottom too. It's better to remove this foliage as well, because when you put into the water, any foliage and water can easily grow the bacteria. So just snip them off, or just simply pluck them off from the stem, and you will have a clean stem to go. You know what? And even for the soft skin like this, I would try to remove them as well, leaving really a bare stem when I need to rehydrate it. There is one more reason I love using statics is because you can easily turn them into dried flowers by just hanging them upside down and letting them air dry on their own. And the colors will stay just as pretty as they were fresh. But a lot of folks have asked me if they can skip the hassle of removing the leaves when they want to use them just as dried flowers. Well, it really depends on how you are planning to dry them. If you've got tons of space hanging each stem separately, you might get away with not snipping off the leaves. Just go for it without worrying too much. But here's the catch. Don't even think about leaving the whole bunch upside down when you receive these flowers fresh. There is some moisture in between the stems, so if you don't untie them, molds can actually sprout from the stems. And of course, if you are only using the top part, you might not even need to worry about it. But still, molds can be smelly. Now, same as every flower, when you are trying to do the plopping, check individual stem. And if there is a broken stem, like what I have here, then you better cut it off where it's broken. Because if you plan to use them in your fresh design, they need to drain the water. So check every stem. and make sure it's clean stem. But of course, if you want to turn it into dry flower, then just hand it upside down like this. Easy peasy. And see, it's actually not very difficult. Sometimes it's actually very clean as well. And just pluck off those foliage one at a time. Make sure it's clean especially when you need to use it in your fresh flower arrangement. And of course, just like any other flowers, when it's clean, you better get a fresh cut at the bottom and put them into your bucket. 
a bucket of water. So see here is another broken branch. So I just cut it off, remove the foliage, clean stem one at a time. This is clean and this pluck it off. So that's the what we have to do it with every stem. See, pluck it off. Sometimes you don't really need the flower shoes. Just simply pluck it off. Clean. Very easy. And most of them are actually very clean. So that's actually what a florist needs to do every day. Make sure every flower, every stem is clean in the water. Now, here is my another bunch of statues in purple. They are wrapped with a mesh, a mesh bag. So when you try to open it, don't pull it up from the top. Instead, roll the mesh up from the bottom. As this way, you want to stretch out the flowers on the top. Just gently roll up from the bottom. So this is another smart tip that I want to share with you. And once it's opened, same as what I yeah, did before for the baby breath, just give them a little shake. And of course, remove the foliage at the bottom, give a new cut at the bottom as well, before you rehydrate them in the water. Just spread it out. Remove the foliage. The same way that we talked about before you put them into the bucket of water to rehydrate it. And that's it. <laughs>